Hey besties. It's been so long since I've talked to you guys or made a video or anything. I'm so sorry. That was just rude of me. Check out my nails. I'm gonna do a little ASMR for you too. Here, ready? Watch. I know what you guys are thinking. Krista, don't quit your day job because ASMR is not for me. Today, we are making the Max and Ruby cake. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing except for a picture. And other than that, other than that, all I've gotten was literally two French vanilla. Did I? I give myself a headache. So I guess that I got one white cake and then one French vanilla. They were supposed to both be white cakes. Anyways, it's fine. It's whatever at this point. I have no clue what I'm doing except for the fact that I know that it's going to be a, now a French vanilla and a white cake. And I got this fluffy white frosting. My birthday is tomorrow, which is why I am deciding to make this cake. Because I've seen it all over TikTok and Instagram and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just, why don't I just make the Max and Ruby cake? Or at least attempt to, because I'm not a baker, but I can try. That's what we're gonna do. Now, I've got my laptop here and I pulled up a picture that I think really resembles the cake. This is the picture. This is literally what I'm going by. I don't even know if I have the colors for it. Neither do I have fondant. I really didn't think this completely through. Let's check if I have the colors. It looks like I need a pink and a yellow, a blue, green, purple, red. I just need the rainbow. Now, I know again what you're thinking. Carissa, why aren't you more prepared? Oh, well. It's June and like 90 degrees out and I'm in a sweater. You know what I have to say to that? Bah humbug. If you're my food coloring, come out now. What is this? What is this? Ew! I don't know what my arm just went in, but it smells nasty. I'm gonna go change. Have changed my shirt because whatever I put myself in smelled nasty. I know what you're thinking. Krissa, you look like a five-year-old about to bake something with your grandma or I look like the grandma. Hear me out, okay? My brother and sister-in-law got me this because they know I like to bake. So they were like, they went to Disneyland and they were like, Krissa, we got you something. And I was like, you got me something. And they were like, yeah, we got you something. And they pull up and they brought me this. And you know what? I'm in love. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients I'm using for this cake to attempt it. You don't have to do the same thing. Everything's that, everything I'm doing is pretty much pre-made and easy to make just because I don't want to have to worry about anything. It's my birthday tomorrow, dude. I'm chilling. I'm vibing. I literally like to make things strictly to decorate. I have this white Betty Crocker cake mix. I have this French vanilla cake mix from Betty Crocker. I have two 14 ounce whipped fluffy white. The using to decorate is just some plain piping bags. In the picture, it looks like they use a star for the little dollops, I'm gonna be using a star piping tip. Now, this has been used a lot, but for the blue icing, I'll be using a royal blue, leaf green, yellow. I have a pink in here, but I might have to try and make a pink because it looks like I'm running out of the pink. 
It looks like in the picture that these people used fondant as like the heart stars and stuff like that. I do not have fondant. Neither can I make it because I don't have the ingredients for it. So I'm just going to have to hand pipe that bad boy on there. Get ready for that. I found two pans that are the exact same size. Maybe one's a little bit, yeah. One's a little bit bigger, but it'll be easy to shave down the sides. So I'm just gonna use these two pans. Mm -hmm. done with that stress i'm gonna pop it in the oven we are gonna wait about 25 to 30 minutes now while we wait for that i am going to wash a bowl so that we can start with our frosting you gotta tell me what chore do you hate the most because the chore i hate the most is dishes hate it hate it also putting away laundry like i don't mind folding it and stuff but like having to put it on the hanger and stuff i'm like just screw it just Chuck it inside the drawer, call it a day. I don't see a point in me showing you guys a video of me literally blending it. All I'm doing is I'm putting these two icings in a bowl and then blending it with a mixer just to fluff it up. I have whipped my buttercream, not my buttercream. I have whipped my white frost. I made my pink. It's pretty bright compared to what the picture is, but I'm okay with that. I like the way it looks. Just a little bit tired. Um, the cakes I've baked, I put them in the freezer and I'm gonna bring them out right now so that we can start decorating. It's still probably a little bit warm, but at this point, I really just don't care. And I just wanna decorate because that's the fun part. Yeah. Just to verify, I am not a professional. I am just doing this for hexies, for funsies, because my birthday is coming up literally like in an hour. Actually, I was born at nine, so technically not. Anyways, I'm gonna start cutting this. But if there's one thing I learned from cake decorating, it's that you always gotta put icing in the middle of your cakes. Work smart, not harder. Now, this right here, it's called a crumb coat. I'm starting to get rougher by the minute. I just put my cake, my little crumb coat, I put it in the freezer because it was still warm. And now I'm gonna place them on top of each other and I'm gonna try and make it look like the Max Ruby. Kind of, cause it's like slanted. So I've got to slant it. basically slanted it. I think it's pretty slanted. At least a good chunk of it slanted. Whatever. It's not supposed to be perfect. Anyways, now I'm going to cover it in frosting. Although I do not know. I think I'm going to put it in the freezer again for a little bit more because I am really scared that it's going to fall apart. Even though it's not supposed to be perfect, it's just very crumbly right now. Okay, update. It's been like five minutes, but I'm just done. I'm done. I don't want to wait for it. I just want to attempt it and see what happens. So now I am going to start decorating it with pink icing.
I probably would have done better just making that mud cake that uh, Max made because I feel like that would look 20 times better than this. But at the same time, I think she has a good side. Like this is her good side. It's not even good, but it's her good side because if you look over here, it looks like someone just went in and took a bite. Just was like, <sighs> if I had an ounce of care in my body, this is probably not what would have uh, ended up happening. I've got my piping bag and now I'm gonna grab the cake that I put back in the fridge because Lord have mercy. we have at the moment i am gonna put it in the freezer and go to bed because i am so tired now and it's like 12 o'clock so i'll see you guys in the morning good morning i've had my cake in the freezer overnight so now we're gonna check on it so here's the final cake i think it's actually really cute i like how vibrant the colors are yeah i know that it looks like someone ate a chunk of it but i'm okay with that because it's super vibrant it's just cute it was a fun cake to make honestly My book, The Moon Follows Me, is out on Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, Amazon. It's on a lot of different platforms, and it's a cute, very cute children's book. I spoke at Table Rock Elementary in multiple classrooms, and they all loved it, asked me multiple questions about it, and they just thought it was super cute. One of the kids even pointed out the fact that the moon is kind of like the color of SpongeBob, and he thought it was super cute, and he was like, maybe you should get on Nickelodeon, and I was like, that would be cool or like nick tunes is what he said so it was it was just super cute so if you haven't already go get your book it's the moon follows me by kt barbie my surname my pen name so if you want it it's super cute i'll show you guys a little bit inside it's a really good size book hardcover very good i got the best quality paper for it because i wanted the best quality so I'll show you guys one page of what it looks like. Very vibrant colors, super cute, and it rhymes. So if you have a baby shower coming up, you have a nephew, niece, grandchild, you have a child, you're a parent, this is a great book for bedtime and everyone loves how bright and colorful it is and the imagination. And my what I think is super cute is this little guy right here. He's not really like, a whole lot in the story he's just super cute he's adorable i love his little bunny ears he's a little stuffed animal and i think he's adorable so if you haven't already i'll put the link down below you can purchase this book and i'll add a couple of different things so you can get like a free ten dollar gift card and stuff down below i'll also add some like mini dresses summer tanks and stuff so that you can get some outfits if you want to. But yeah, if you haven't already, please go get your book, link down below. There will be a lot of extra things. I'll also put the recipe down below that I did, even though it was basically pre-made, it's whatever. I'll put that down below too. So with that being said, I'll show you guys my outfit for the day.